Hey, Paul. Hey, Chris. Happy New Year, everybody. What? What? I. This is another one where I'm probably going to publish this tonight because I, I will not miss a week, even if they're late. So this is last Friday's episode. This is uh, was that the first? This is <laughs> the episode for Little January first. <laughs> Seriously, Happy New Year. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a new year, but nothing's changed. Yeah, that's right. Happy uh, Friday, I guess is what it's going to be. <laughs> Well, it's, st- <laughs> it's still publishing on a Tuesday night. Shout out to Breaking the Mold. <laughs> um, before we get too far into it, uh, I have a drink here. This is from the Rosenquists. Thank you for being uh, customers of my store, and thank you for being listeners of the podcast, and for bringing me a soda. That's wild. I, Plus, it's back to drinking crazy sodas on YouTube. I, <laughs> I, was, I was never gone. There just weren't any coming out. I did get the uh, face did, life. I, <laughs> the, <laughs> he's only drinking sodas right now. He'll get he'll grow out of it. Uh, I did hear that the the Coca Cola and Pepsi were both launching like a coffee flavor last spring, and both of which got postponed. And the Coke rep that shops in my store um, a few days ago, I guess on Sunday said that I, I asked him about it and he said oh the coke one is he said it's coming out uh tomorrow and i was like oh, that's awfully coincidental but uh <laughs> i'm glad to hear that you know of it so that means it must still exist and i will be on the hunt for that i don't know if it's gonna be in like the picture of the cooler at, at your wawa or uh, in an inferior store and it's either in going to be with all the cold brews, all the energy drinks, or with the soda. It's probably going to be with the cold brews. So I have to like learn what that color palette looks like so I can see that something is different, something is new. Because they might really dress up this can yeah. like any of the other cold brews, and I won't even notice that it is what it is. And I am not a coffee drinker. It is it is an affront to the taste buds. <laughs> coffee. I am a coffee drinker, and I'm not looking forward to coffee flavored Coke. <laughs> well, I remember Coke tea. Black from like 2003 ish. I think it's B L A Q. I think, <laughs> and it was this. It was it was bottle shaped and plastic, but it was really tiny. Like it it made you feel like a giant, and it it was like black plastic wrapped plastic bottle. Um, that's enough about that. I, <laughs> in my opinion, coffee is the the taste that you convince yourself you like, but really you just like the effects of it. Oh, 100 percent. I, I drink coffee and I drink coffee black um, and I do it for the caffeine. A hundred percent it's for the caffeine. However, I have since learned to appreciate the complexity of like different coffees. But to me, it doesn't make it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. As long as it's coffee with caffeine. That's all that I really care about. It can be blah, 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 Sumatran blend f- from Starbucks. It can be just, it, it could be Dunkin' Donuts. It could be just something from the gas station. Doesn't bother me either way, as long as it uh, has the caffeine in it. Yeah, I I feel like soda gets, doesn't, it doesn't get a fair shake when it comes to like the micro brew beers and the, like, the cold brew coffees. They're exploding with the variety and availability and then you look at soda, and it's like Pepsi made this, Coke made that. There are there is no room for anyone else. <laughs> what, what else? What else do you really see except for that that one local brand that hasn't put anything new out in twenty years? <laughs> There's ten kinds of Mountain Dew, Code Red, or whatever. They're all, they're all the Taco Bell. That's where you get them all. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, Maryland Phil, although he's the only Phil. For nerd rage now, so is he just Phil now? The dinosaur kid. <laughs> Phil sent me a picture of the uh, the Mountain Dew Merry Mashup, which is the same name as like one or two years ago, but he says he thinks they reused the name, but it's a new flavor. <laughs> he sent me a picture of it, <laughs> and funny. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta go look, watch my old video because it it describes what it was aiming to be on the bottle. This is like pomegranate and something else. So I got to see if in my old video it's described with the same words as this current bottle is because that's pretty sneaky 
if they use the same name, Merry Mashup, and it's generic enough, but the new flavor, same name. Anyway, I'm going to drink this, and probably this, during the show. I've already tried this, but thank you for uh, giving me a soda. That was, um, that was an awesome event, talking about the podcast and about their big Todd fans, as most people are. <laughs> Sorry, Todd's not here tonight. I haven't heard from Todd. <laughs> Paul's here. You remember Paul? The other Asian. Andrew? <laughs> one of the one, some some week the stars will align. It'll be me with Paul, Andrew, and Todd, and we will win some sort of streaming award. It'll be just like that that Pornhub meme. <laughs> you on the couch. That's not how the meme goes. <laughs> That's not how it goes at all, Paul. <laughs> oh, that's a weird combo. <laughs> Why did I do that? Did you see what I did? Did you mix them? Or did you have one after the other or something? I had one after the other, and that was a mistake. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Got to gotta cleanse the palate. I guess so. <laughs> um, so how was your week in Lego? My week in Lego... That's a good way of putting it. Well, we haven't seen any trade-ins, which is a bummer. We uh, it, we went through all the stuff there is to go through, and we're we're getting ahead of schedule, which is something we don't do. I've I thought about it earlier tonight, in that it seems like all I do at my business is put out fires. I'm never doing any. Excuse me, the sodas are getting to me already. I never do anything proactive or ahead of the curve for for uploading parts or sorting things it's always i didn't write any of this down <laughs> i had these thoughts earlier and then they, they went away i'm i'm saying all right this is the problem how do we fix this so that's the problem how do we fix that and now we're there and we're we're sorting things that we wouldn't normally sort because we did everything else already we're not behind, we're ahead for once. But you can only do that so long before you actually run out of stuff to do. I guess this is a lull in trade-ins. We've had them before. We've had them a couple of months ago. We had no trade-ins for like a month, and we got into things we never thought we'd get into. I also, the bulk on eBay picked back up all of a sudden. I don't want to say it picked back up for good, because it might have just been a one-day thing. But I sold like 28 pounds in one day, including one lot that was 20 pounds. Someone just said, yup, here's the money. 20 pounds. <laughs> Hope it's good. Ship it to me in it's Colorado someone, or something. Someone's, uh, their uh, resolution is to build more Lego. They're going to finally complete the, what, was, what would it be? I don't know. Their Mac hanger or their stadium, their local sports stadium that they're trying to build. Or their their town street that they're trying to. Oh, is this to... one of those those? Uh... Oh, I don't know. I'm just assuming if you're buying twenty pounds of Lego, so you got something in mind. Oh, I thought you were trying to dwell on the 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 overnight Lego pipe dream tropes of like oh, man, I'm gonna was... build this thing that no one's ever done before and it's <laughs> huge. Oh wait, everyone's tried that and it sent them directly into their dark ages. Oops. <laughs> I I might argue that i drove myself into my dark ages at i don't know what age childhood by i, I wanted to build one massive structure using all of the pieces i had which is a super child thing to do that i completely understand now logistically doesn't work not every not every part is meant for building a structure, but then again, that's the challenge is to use parts in different ways. Yeah. Whatever. I tried to do a it. big thing, and step one is nothing can nothing can live. Everything must die. <laughs> <laughs> and and you start building, you get frustrated in one way or another, and then uh, you leave for uh, years. But look, you came back stronger than ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which I guess uh, I've seen people doing there. Their updates, their their year in reviews, their month in reviews, their fourth quarter in reviews. 
And I just want to flex on some people real quick. Um, anyone who flexes back in, in the comments with a bigger store than mine, that's fine too. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the biggest store. I'm nowhere near the biggest store. I don't aim to be the biggest store. But let's I, flex. Let's flex. So, in 2020, I had 7,452 orders that shipped out. Um, about 600 of them are still in limbo. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we did, we did finish, we shipped, I think it was yesterday, we, was it yesterday? We shipped the last from December, that being the fourth. And today we bad. did... You, I think you have a week processing or whatever, I think it's... Something like that. Today something we did like that, right? the, the, the first and like half of the second we shipped out. There you go. And uh, I'm pretty much going to have to keep chugging on that all week because I think I hit 130 orders paid that I weren't packed yet. It just happens. Like you, you, you look away for a few hours, and it's it's gotten enough larger. The backlog of lots to pull to ship out orders. It's gotten that much larger that. In the amount of time you those orders came in, you couldn't have pulled on your own that many parts out of the store. You couldn't have packed the amount that you can place the orders faster than you can pack them. Mm -hmm. One of the how roundabout ways I'm trying to say that. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes sometimes it's a bunch of little orders and you can knock them out and they're not they're not all coming in all at once and it's fine. But other times you get one big order and it'll really back up the rest of the ones. My one of my favorite things to do is when somebody emails me because they obviously didn't see that it takes like four days between their payment and me shipping it. When they say, "Hey, when's this order going to ship?" I like to tell them exactly how many orders are ahead of theirs in the paid status. It's like, "Oh, there's a there's 65 orders ahead of yours right now. Thank you for your order." <laughs> I don't know what their take on that is, but it's it's fun for me. <laughs> I enjoy doing that. If you are one of those customers that has received that very email, leave us a comment below. <laughs> Usually what I'll do is, if it's not an obnoxious order, I will tell them that, but I'll also do theirs right then and there. Jump theirs ahead. Because it's the, the the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Mm -hmm. um, so if that's the, that's the pro tip, bricks on the yeah, dollar. If you complain, them. I'll probably Inside. pull your order faster. <laughs> It's the inside track right there. Yep. So, uh, 7,452 orders shipped. It was... I'm just going to round it. 1.31 million parts sold. I don't know how many parts I uploaded. I don't track that. It's just every day more parts are being uploaded. You could argue that my store was probably about the same size as it is now. A year ago maybe a little smaller but probably the same size i don't know when i crossed two million but i haven't fallen under two million since i crossed it so you could argue that i uploaded about 1.3 million parts if my store is currently the same size as it was about a year ago and i sold that many parts over the course of the year yep, that so that's awesome work. that's awesome i just i wish i could convey to all my retail customers that you can buy stuff here if you want, but it's not going to make a difference. <laughs> we we sell parts online to people you haven't even to countries you haven't even heard of. <laughs> Speaking of countries you haven't even heard of, <laughs> did you see in the chat that I put where one of my packages was going yesterday? <laughs> Wuhan. <laughs> yeah, I uh, that's the uh, the fuck around and find out package. <laughs> uh, I, am sh I shipped an order to Wuhan, China yesterday, a.k.a. AKA Ground Zero. That's right. You, you'll show them. <laughs> we'll give this shit right back. <laughs> <laughs> now, if only it was shipping from uh, England to Wuhan, China. <laughs> no, I, 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 I guess things are fine over there if they're ordering Lego at this point. Fine enough. I think that is indeed... Correct, actually. So, like, it, it, just because it was, it just because it's the epicenter zero. doesn't mean it's uh, it's it's the worst off. Exactly. That's where that's where it came from, but not necessarily where it's like the the hotbed of activity anyway. No, no, not at all. But it's uh, it's 
I, I say it's good to see that uh, somebody in Wuhan, China is frivolous enough to buy random. You know what I do? I ship a lot of similar items to China. And it's a lot of decorated pieces from the 90s. It's almost as it's almost like there is there was no Lego. I don't know if there what how how much Lego there was in the 90s in Asia at all. But it's almost as if they didn't really get access to Lego. And again, I have no idea what the timeline was for them getting Lego over there in in a su substantial amount. But it's almost like they didn't have Lego there in the 90s. So they're buying all this specialty stuff, all these pieces that aren't made anymore. That I just happen to list because I know that they're they're old and they're uncommon and and I get them in bulk and it's better to make them available than to just sell them off by weight. So they're buying all these old parts and I'm just I want to know what's going on. I want to know if if uh some sweet 90s Lego is being put together or mocks are being made with with parts long gone that they never really had. That'd be cool. It could be like it's the, the true dark ages, right? They they didn't have Lego at the time, but now now they found out about all of it cuz the internet and so now they're like, "Yeah, now look at all these sweet pieces." Or they're just stuck in that time frame. It's it's like a uh, it's like the the Saudi prince in WWE wrestling. Like, so I suppose you probably don't follow wrestling, but for those who do, it's it's very similar to that. I would imagine, or I, it it could be like that where when you have don't give a fuck amount of money, and you and and you are willing to throw billions of dollars to the the head of the WWE, you can then say, I want a WrestleMania style pay per view in my country every year, but I want it to be all the '90s wrestlers. Again, some of them are even dead, but like that, that this is what we want. And then so Vince McMahon bends his ass over backwards. They, just people they didn't follow up on if they're alive or not. Yeah, like he's like, this guy is pretty close to him. Put him out there. And and like, that's literally what they do. And so like that guy has so much money, has thrown so much money in that he's basically recreating the 90s in wrestling. And so that's, maybe that's what they're doing in Wuhan. They're, uh, they're recreating the 90s in Lego. Let's see uh, what what kind of stuff pops up then. Maybe the, the, that's where all the, you know, it, it'll it'll be all the stuff that we talked about in the bracket. <laughs> I I don't I don't remember what I said in my review, but I I apologize. This just tastes like chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> the can of the dry vanilla cream. I'm sure I'm sure I had a similar response to it in when I first tried it, but this <laughs> this just tastes like some sort of thing you're not supposed to drink. So is it like so? Can of dry? I know, obviously, as a, as the ginger ale. Is this like a cream soda that they've made, or yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. they have a lot of, of the, ginger ale. No, no, they have um, they have their flavored ginger ales, where it's like ginger ale and this ginger ale and that, this kind of ginger ale, that kind of ginger ale. But they also have a bunch of other independent flavors that have nothing to do with ginger ale, like this one, like the island lime, which was I think my favorite soda of all time. Rest in peace, can of the dry <laughs> island lime. It was amazing. They have other things that aren't ginger ale. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever. They'll, they'll never get out of that ginger ale shadow. I think, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe. It's like Verner's. Verner's always going to be a ginger ale. I, I I think Verner's is just in the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, a Michigander, uh, loves her Verner's. They 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 fucking love Verner's in Michigan. <laughs> I don't know if I, I'm sure I've had it, but it's not a thing around here. If you could, it's not even a for. thing by me. Again, yeah. I, I'm in Chicago. It's like it's, it's it's you can find it every so often. It's not nearly as prolific as it is in Michigan, because again, they fucking love it up there. Hmm. All right, so that was that. Is that the end of your flex? You got more to flex, don't uh, you? I think that was it. I mean, I'm not going to say that. 1.6 million pieces sold. Uh, 7,500 ish um, orders. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sales. Um, orders. You know what orders. Would be a nice, a nice number is um, if I knew how many pounds, blind pounds, I sold on eBay. I don't. But let's assume it's a, about 850. Damn. Because I started <laughs> the lot on eBay at 1,000. It's currently sitting at like 80-some, 
but I started it before 2020, but it didn't really pick up until March, of course. So let's say about 850, 850 pounds of, I don't even know what I'm getting, just put it in a bag and mail it to me. And I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 of those pounds went international with the, uh, what is, what's eBay's global shipping program? So I'm off to, uh, to yeah, he Kentucky. goes down to Hebron, Kentucky. The airport exchange, Hebrew and Kentucky, and then you get like five Erlanger. emails saying that uh, it Ur- Erlang. <laughs> I've been there. I've been to both of those places. You've been that, to the, that's, the airport hub. That's where the airport is. That's where the Cincinnati airport is. It's in it's in uh, Hebron. <laughs> I've been there. I so ate at I, oh, I ate at a Waffle House in what's the what's the what's the city? Um, in Kentucky, that's directly opposite the river from Cincinnati. I didn't tell you. Is it? Is it? Is it Covington? My wife would know. I would not. No, no, no that's the airport is Covington. CVG. Um, I don't know. <laughs> the 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 town that is just the same city, but there's a river slash state border between the two of them. That there's a Waffle House there that I ate at, and you know, don't ever eat at Waffle House. That's just the first rule. Of Waffle House is you don't need it. <laughs> but um, Joe KW loves Waffle House, or he loves one of those. I don't know if it's Waffle House or, or I another think, similar one. I think there's one somewhere near me, and it's just it's just awful knowing that it, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> I've never eaten a one because we don't have. One you don't. There. I just the um. The, the cooks must have had some prank there playing because there was a full-on slice of, like, uh, American cheese on the back of the waitress's shoulder. Yeah, like, positive. she didn't know it was there. Right about so that. that is when Cheese Shoulder was born in Kentucky. <laughs> is is that a thing? Man, I feel like I'm, I'm missing out on so much. In, in my circle, Cheese Shoulder is very much a thing. We have a photo of all of our shocked faces after seeing the cheese shoulder <laughs> in Kentucky. Uh, this would have been, had it been a different time, it would have gone viral on TikTok. Yeah. On the I TikToks. I don't know what was, <laughs> no, I don't think any, it might have been like Vine days. I'm not sure timeline wise where that puts it. That was, that was 2014. Oh yeah, so post MySpace. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, I I hear a lot of podcasts where they they tell and they tell stories about events in their lives decades ago and they just bring so much detail to it. I have a hard time remembering last week. Dude, there, I, there are some people who are very good at that. I am not one of them. I'm not one <laughs> yeah. of them either. So don't don't look to this show for me telling you a detailed report of my trip to X city for a convention, uh, as little as five years ago. <laughs> you remember the shit out of what sets came out that year though. <laughs> Maybe it depends on the year. I would, I would love to be able to tell you those stories. Like, Hey, tonight we're going to talk all about Brickfest live in Cincinnati and everything that led up to it and during it and after it. Maybe I'll surprise myself, and I'll do a good job at recollecting it, but going into it, I don't think it's going to be a very good story. I'm <laughs> sure at, right after the fact it would have been a very good story, but now it's going to be too disjointed. I'm going to forget too much of it, and the things I am going to mention aren't going to be very funny. <laughs> But someday, someday maybe I'll I'll tell stories because I did like 30, 30 of these events in in two and a half years, so maybe that's some good content. I think it'd be cool. I would imagine if it were me, they'd all blur together, but it would get a good sense of the overall experience. If it were some of those other shows I'm sure you're talking about, like there could be a full episode on each of those events individually, <laughs> so it'd be a whole series, and each each of them would be different. Because they'd have they'd have so much detail about each individual thing that happened there, the 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 weather conditions, the travel conditions, and and that the makes wine. it sound real exciting. <laughs> Let me tell you about 
how much snow there was on our layover in St. Louis on the way to Texas, where there was none. <laughs> Let me tell you about the de-icing procedures at the airports in PHL versus uh, STL. Because they're way different. One of them had technology. The other one had a dude with a hose. <laughs> the de-icing in Philly was no joke, man. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know de-icing a plane before it took off was a thing. But goddamn, they got out there with machines and the whole airplane turned green. They sprayed <laughs> that bitch down. My ass is from Chicago. We got O'Hare, and we we get sub-zero weather all the time. So <laughs> I'm familiar. You know about the icing? I, I well, I don't not personally, or I should I should say like I don't know all the techniques and what they, what goes into it. But I am very familiar with. We need to de-ice the plane, blah blah blah, before we can take yeah, off. Yeah. I'm very familiar with that. so Philly. I, I'm gonna go into the de-icing because it's great. <laughs> so uh, St. Louis was definitely like a cherry picker and a guy with a hose <laughs> because they're like we've seen snow. I think I think we remember what snow looks like. There's some. That's snow. That's snow. That's definitely snow. <laughs> Philly, not the you know we're not in the north that much. We are above the Mason Dixon line, but they had. <laughs> so here's an analogy that all the children will love. Are you familiar with the Republic gunship from? I don't know, episode two, where it's got those little sphere, the gunner's spheres on the side that the clone gunner is in, and it's just, it's just in this bubble hanging off the side. Yep. They had those. Uh, they had right. these little boxes. Like, think of the cab of a, of a Bobcat um, Caterpillar. Those are two different brands, aren't they? Yeah. Um, little front loader guy. That's the cab of that thing. Think of that. But it's up in the air like a crane and it's got this like mounted nozzle on it and he's just <laughs> the whole thing's pivoting and he's spraying the plane down with his green goo and then you, if you're over the wing it's awesome because you get to take off and you watch the the goo just fly off of the plane who knows what it's landing on <laughs> fly off of the plane right into the skookle <laughs> that's a river all of our rivers are native american Although I don't think that's the term anymore. My apologies. Wait, that's not the term? Oh, crap. It's indigenous, I suppose? I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I mean... I, would, I thought Native American was still okay. Apparently, if it's not, I'm, I'm way behind. Oh, man, no, no, no. I mean, that might be fine. I just... I, I'm... I'm mm, no, well, I won't go into it. <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah. We won't go into it. We won't go into it. The... The way of seating that children do in school changed its name, and I just, I, I wasn't informed. No one sent me the memo. You don't have kids. <laughs> I don't have kids. But I didn't, know, so, I didn't know that until this year either, by the way. <laughs> maybe it was this year. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe we weren't too far off. Whatever, de-icing the plane, super rad. <laughs> Being in Texas in February, and it's still 80 degrees, major lame. <laughs> I, I go to Texas, man, in February, and you're sweating. It's like no, bring me back my winter. I I, I can see that. that. That that would certainly be jarring. And how the hell do you pack for that? <laughs> you don't, because when you get we we were down there, and there was a blizzard here. Like pipes exactly. were freezing here, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm in Texas right now. <laughs> I don't care who's downstairs, neighbor flooded. Because some pipes broke. I'm in Texas. As long as the shop the shop is still intact, we're good. I'm talking about the apartment. That was here. Downstairs <laughs> flooded while we were in Texas. Because, um, I don't know. Power went out and the heat didn't come back on or something. I don't know. Like, and I, I just figure as long as your shop is okay, and then, then, yeah. then it's fine. Uh, I was not. I didn't have a shop then. But. Whatever. <laughs> I just got all quiet. I was like, I'm not trying to split hairs here, but that was that was before I had a store. I had a Brickling store. There you go. That's what you mean. <laughs> all right. That's 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 the flexing. Is that I sold 1.31 million parts in 2020. If you sold more, that's great. I'll sell more this year as well. With any luck. 
That's if awesome. You, well if done. You, if you sold less, then you've got something to strive for. That's right. Uh, we have some some of the uh, some of our fellow Bricklink friends of the show, I'm sure, will uh, now they have something to strive for. Uh, even though I'm sure they've 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 been trying to chase that ghost for <laughs> since they've been on the show and since they've known you, uh, <laughs> trying to try to get on there to your top sixty, son. That's that, that's what you got to get to. I don't. I gotta check. I don't think I made that. Um, oh no, it's. It's, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there's like a several month displacement that I've talked about before where you 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 accrue the fees through month A and then you have all of month B to pay for those fees you accrue during month A. And I think month C is when if your month A was good enough, you'll rank. Yeah, okay. I think that's how it works, but I just want to get to the point where I'm on there every month and I don't even worry about what month it's for. Yeah, I am. It's weird. It's a, it's like a different shuffle of names right now on the top 60 for the Americas. It's not the names I normally see. So maybe there's some stores that that operate more strongly in December, although it's probably not from December, but maybe just fourth quarter. Yeah. All the, the, the stores that sell sets and not parts pop up, maybe. And the they, Q4 they... Warrior. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I didn't make that for whatever month it's applied right now, but I I did good. I, I think I had my third best month ever in December. With those stats, I'd have to imagine you'd be up there. And even if you weren't actually in it, like, the... <laughs> It's still a hell of a flex if you were a top 75, let's say, and not necessarily yeah. top 60. That's a fucking hell of a flex to have. So I think uh, as, as you've shown many times on this show, it's you, you, you put in that grind, man. So, so you, you deserve it. You've done a good job. And uh, all it takes is to to accept the occasional soda from your, your in-store customer. <laughs> Look what happens to you. <laughs> I'm... I'm chasing the ghost, Paul. I I never feel like I grind hard enough for bricks on the dollar. There's a, here, there's, here. There's, yeah, there, there's there's really no one I know that that is on that grind more than you. I think we even talked about it at uh, at Skullfest before. We were I think when we were talking to Jisk or whatever it was, it it was like we were talking about just other people and what what is it about the other person? And we were in the same room. And it was it's it's all about the the grind with you. The, the, you 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 work your ass off. Constantly trying new projects and new things to try to just try more stuff and diversify. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You don't get you don't get uh, discouraged by any of that because because uh, you know the work will pay off in the end. That that that's that's the mindset you need to go in with, especially if you want to be a successful entrepreneur. Just know not everything is going to be a home run right away, but uh, but it, it'll get there. Yeah, I. Uh... I you two am, will be swimming in Gundam sets. <laughs> I well, you, I got one left in the first stack, and then I get to shift everything over. And don't worry, there's some more stacks behind off off screen, so they'll just right. wrap the corner. You get anyway, stacks, done. stacks of Gundam. Yeah, I I am no good at. Oh, I know why I was thinking of the putting out fires thing. So I wanted to start posting on Instagram again this year. I know it's oh, silly. To, I think I saw, have, a couple, I saw a couple of posts. You did. Ago. It's the fifth and you saw a couple of posts. That's <laughs> correct. I, the first of the year is, is not a reason to start doing something, but it's, it's clean. It, it's, uh, it, you can prepare for it, I guess. So I am no good at, at thinking ahead like that. I, I more often am going, all right, what do I got to do right now? What's behind schedule? What do I got to pick up? What do I got to put down? So I wanted to post one of my, all right, see you later, Paul. Paul's got problems. I'll just keep going about my story. I wanted to post my shoebox slots from Bricks on the Dollar, one a day every day for the year. Hey, that's the thing people do. It's the fifth. I've done two of them. I did the second because I didn't go to the store on the first, and I also didn't plan ahead enough to take a photo that I could post from home on the first. So I did the second, and I did the the fourth, I want to say. And no, I'm not... I'm going to try to do it every day this year, but I cannot 
bring myself to do something that insignificant. And maybe it has to do with with it not really mattering in the end if I if I post these pictures on Instagram or not. But I hadn't posted anything since October and I like to subscribe to the idea that if you don't hear from somebody, that's the busiest person. If you're hearing from them all the time, they're probably not all that busy. Y'all good, Paul? Yep. All good. All right. We got Seamless. a taste we got a taste of what what it would be like if I tried to do an episode by myself and I don't think it would work. <laughs> what you don't have the, the gift of gab? I'd have to have some topics ahead of time and I would definitely like run out of run out of mouth work i I, I need i need all the drinks <laughs> you could have talked to us your most recent gundam that you built <laughs> wow that'd be that'd be the gnx from double o <laughs> i wasn't i was kind of skeptical about it because it's kind of goofy looking but i built it and i really like it i also built a uh figureized standard ace force lady from that chinese version of overwatch <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's been described as to me they have what? the another video game <laughs> <laughs> but uh but like so it's it's interesting to see uh gundam has 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 been popping up more and in, in the realm facebook group lately a lot of people a lot more people are building gundam has it? i don't cool know i haven't i i stopped using facebook so i don't know what's happening in there all i know is you're probably still posting like crazy I haven't posted as much. Like this year in general hasn't been haven't been posting as much. But oh, five days. I, I did. <laughs> that's that is true. But there've been it's been some of it new people. But like there've been a lot more Gundam sets and Gundam posts. Look what I just got in the mail. And if you're talking gonna, about Fernando, no, not that. <laughs> I already told you those are all high grades. That's like forty five minutes a piece. <laughs> but now that's one. Like, that's that's a long weekend's worth of work right there. <laughs> Hopefully, did it over the new year, uh, but there's a there, there's a lot of it's mostly uh, like Master Grave stuff that that is going on. Just to cut this in the mail, I'm excited to build it, and it's been it's been nice to see people excited about Gundam. Well, now They're, now you're gonna get to see if Phase Life is real. No, no, no. The the real Phase Life now is the Snapships. That's that's Phase Life, because people are all I, talking I'd about I'd agree to that. And um, and see, so so the the first Phase Life again in quotes as that as it was called was was for the Pacific Rim figures, because people stop buying Pacific Rim figures. But in actuality, there's no more Pacific Rim figures that have been made because that movie has stopped. Like the true phase life is where people stop buying them when they're still making more of those things, and they just stop. I, I, I don't life. think the phase refers to uh, discontinuing the the purchase of a line. I think the phase is getting into a line no matter how long or short it is for a short amount of time i always considered it if, if they still made pacific rim figures and nobody was buying them That's because because they bought them up front and then they stopped buying them yeah, for sure. That's a phase. That, 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 that. That's what I consider phase life. So, um, that, that I would, I would say is it. So people that went all up just using Lego, went balls out for Lego, and then all, then stop. No one was buying Lego anymore or whatever. But I think Snapships is the is the big one because when those first dropped, people were going crazy about them, and it was so funny to hear the descriptions about Snapships because. Like they're like, oh, these are so great! I can build. It, it comes with the instructions to build this, but you don't have to do that. You can build whatever you want, and it's modular. You can connect other ones. I'm like, dude, this is Lego. <laughs> this is the same thing that you could do with Lego. What, what the hell's going is on? There, here? Is there a fiction for Snapships? Uh, I believe there is, or but this is this is kind of like, it's all updated for the for the modern world. Like you go to the website, and you can read about the fiction, and then you can actually like using using AR. Um, you can actually go and it'll it'll like activate the ship you just built in in this world in, in space with other ships and things like that. So it's kind of like a a more complex and and a better done AR app than what Lego has done so far. So but but you can see where the the focus has been. Obviously, Lego the focus is on the on the minifigures and the sets. Snapships it's the, the, there's much more focus put on that other stuff as well. Um, 
and it's just it's just interesting. You don't really haven't really heard much about snap. You holding the snap ship right now? What are you doing? No, no, this is thrust. <laughs> this is best around with thrust. Um, but you, uh, but yeah, you haven't really heard much about snap ships since since they dropped, really. And then a couple of people have been posting, "Oh, I just got this. I'm excited to try to build it." And then the few people that have bought them earlier will chime in, but. But that's really about it. It hasn't seen the. It doesn't really um, stuck around. I'd say, uh, even though I think they are still very fun. Even Chubby Bots made a. He made a Mac out of some snap shifts. <laughs> that's how you know it's arrived. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I never. I saw them, but. So I saw them from somebody I was following on Instagram who who's big at like the um, toy fairs in New York and. And like the decon, the designer convention, things like that, where Crashbox customs. No, 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 not Crashbox. But uh, they they go to those. They're they're all about the new toys. It doesn't have to be Lego. It doesn't have to be anything you've heard of. It can be all kinds of new fun things, and that's fine. You know, if you love toys, you love toys. New toys are new toys. But I I saw all this hype about the snap ships, and that's where I learned about it. And it was actually too much. I was like, I I can't. I can't. I've been purging a lot from my feed. When I when I used to follow somebody for X reason, and then I go to their when they post whatever they post once a week or so, it never really bogs you down. But then you go to their profile and you see that the last two years have only been content that wasn't what you followed them for, which is. A hundred percent a description of anyone who follows me in any way. <laughs> but I I say, you know what? I don't need to follow this person. They haven't posted something that's interested me in two years, and it's only gonna make my life better if I don't have to see their stuff. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I don't follow the person who was talking all about snap ships because I was like, All right, we get it. You're you're in love with this for today. Whatever. Yeah, it's it's uh, I the the hype certainly seems to have died down. Is 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 really what I'll say. Now I don't know if it's because like they haven't made new products so like 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 new sets, or if it is just that the hype is definitely just just died down. Who knows really? Because you throw in the holiday season and all that kind of stuff, it's it, it throws things off. You can't really use it as as much of a gauge because there's well, family there's probably... stuff going on or people are buying them all up and. They're they're not stocked in the shelves because they're all sold out for grandma to buy them for, for Billy. So so who really knows? Um, There's how, probably uh, a lot of companies in that size range that had a really tough 2020 as far as continuing their growth that they had seen just before that. Where let's let's say Snapships came out in 2019 and they were pretty hot but then if if the the pipeline is pulled out from under you right when you start seeing some success you're not able to continue it and you can you can pretty much disappear overnight if something like that happens so i'm sure there's a lot of i'm sure there was a lot of i don't know what toy fair is uh in the year in new york i don't know what month it is but Let's say there's a lot of things that were at Toy Fair in New York in 2019 that didn't get to actually happen. I think they're at the size where that could that could really kill them. Yep, I I, I can see that. Um, hopefully that's not the case because I'm I mean I'm supportive of any any sort of toy line any company that that comes out with something new. I'm, I I think it's great, and especially if it's a if it's a, a building toy that allows modularity and you can free build whatever you want i think just as a concept that's awesome so i hope they do well um if not i'll pick some up <laughs> i'll pick up some of those sets on clearance when they inevitably go down but uh until then i hope they do do well um they do seem to be pretty cool and the concept is an interesting concept it's again it's very similar to the play the, the play function and the play pattern of lego but um it's a it's a new kind of it's a new interpretation of it. It's a new presentation of it. And if that's what it takes to to get that stuff back out there, I'm all for it. Paul, have you ever done 30-minute missions? I have not. You know what that is? I've seen them 
I've seen Mecha Guy Kotsu <laughs> review stuff with their minute mentions. Uh, I think you'd like it. It is Bandai. Same everything as Gundam, plastic wise, construction wise, skill level wise. It is a one one forty four scale, fully customizable, fully interchangeable robots. Mm-hmm. And the, so like you can, can they design to mix and match like parts and stuff, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. I'm 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 all for it. I just uh, I still have to build my two Justice that I got from from Hobby Lobby like eight oh, months ago. Oh, you got two ago. of them. Nice. Yeah. Well, to go along with the the Jessica Cannon, like he's got to have a squad if he's gonna if he's gonna be the commander. Lucky he can't you, just have one buddy. He's got to have two. Just a Cannon is only P Bandai for one one hundred, not for one forty four. I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, check out. Uh, then I think they're cheap because there's not really a licensing behind them. Ah, huh, interesting. So if if they are cheap and if they're easy enough to to procure, I'll probably pick some up just for the hell of it. Once I I think my, I'd be in a, I'd be in a bad way if it was one one hundred. If it was your scale, would you do it, or do you do you I, like? I having... don't know, because I'm not gonna say that I like that they are something like this builds this and that's all it builds. You could customize it, you could paint it, you can swap some stuff if you want, but this builds this. Um, I don't want to say that I'm married to that idea because I'm certainly not. But I also think the other end of the spectrum with something like thirty minute missions. Is too many options. <laughs> you don't have to deviate from the box if you don't want to. You could I, keep it to be just that. I don't know. It's it's just it's begging you to customize it. See, so so it, it I've I've always found that interesting about you. So so clearly with Lego, you're all about the free build. Um, and if you can even use whatever pieces you want to recreate a set that that you don't have, but uh, but you're you're all about that. But with Gundam. Yeah, you, know, you don't seem to mind it as much that it's building something specific, uh, that you're building that specific uh, mobile suit. Um, but also, again, obviously, you you kit bash the hell out of your uh, your Barbatoses so that you you made Super Barbatos Man uh, in there, which is like the, the the combo of like four or five different kits. So it's, only uh, once I, I did it briefly, and then I'm like, nah, <laughs> I don't need to keep it like that. And that right. was because somebody else did it. I copied <laughs> theirs. I um. I think it's because I get to put a certain level of myself into the effort of these. Like any, I don't care what the age range is. Anyone can build any Lego set. Don't lie to yourself and and say, "Well, I'm only 15. That's an 18 plus set." <laughs> 18 plus sounds so much worse. What what's the Lego 18 plus? Ooh, it's, this is the adult line. It's the black box edition, <laughs> 18 <boring>. plus. <laughs> All that it means is that it's just boring. There's no play function. <laughs> May not contain minifigures. I love that. Wait, isn't the Flowers. Elf Clubhouse, didn't that get lumped in the 18 plus? I'm surprised. Like, that, like they, they took something from uh, more or less a an existing line, an annual line. They're like, mm, the 18 plus. I know they had an like, official 18 plus line. Oh, yeah. I, the yeah the, actually, all the boxes are black. So, and it says, and the age range is eighteen plus. It's not like it says place. eighteen plus okay, in the <laughs> corner. It's just that's the age range, and the box is all black. You got to present your ID in order to pick these up. It's they're they're, they're age I restricted. Wish, I wish I oh I would love to be at the Lego store <laughs> when like some screaming seventeen year old can't buy the uh, Iron Man mosaic. <laughs> Sir, this is art. You cannot appreciate art at age 17. This is the line. Lego art. If you're not 18, your opinion doesn't matter yet. <laughs> That's right. That's you haven't cool. developed that part of your brain that appreciates art yet. You so haven't it developed the part of the brain that allows you to speak. <laughs> we got we got the Lego, one of the Iron Man mosaics for uh, for my... My wife's stepdad, so I guess my stepfather-in-law, I guess, if that's a thing. Because um, he loves Iron just Man. Just call him by his first name, and we'll just go with it. <laughs> For Tom. And uh, he and he's, I, I don't think he's completed it yet, but he has, he bought, like, um, a, not, not, a, not an actual sorting tray, but he sorted out all his, all his studs in, in, the different, in the different places and all that kind of stuff, and he got really excited to build it. And uh, he said his hands hurt. He can put, he can put together two... Like two of the of the of the tiles, um, 
in a day before his hands start to hurt. <laughs> but, but he's been very excited and happily building that. Uh, I imagine if he's not, if he didn't finish it over the New Year's weekend, um, he'll finish it this week if he has the time. But yeah, he was very excited, and he is over eighteen, so he he can he can appreciate it appropriately. We checked and, on the way in, <laughs> and it's fine. So something that all the over eighteen year olds are complaining about, and maybe even the under eighteen year olds, is uh, Bone Shaker brought it to my attention. We we saw the the is it the blacksmith shop from ideas i think it's blacksmith shop it's uh, some castle building some dilapidated castle building we had talked about a few weeks ago how paul and i feel like we've fallen out of touch with keeping up with lego's releases are there too many is the advertising changed are we just satisfied with what exists there's probably several reasons why we just don't know what's happening anymore. Are we getting old? I don't know. Paul might be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certainly older than you, I'll say that. Uh, or a little long in the tooth, as everyone has been saying in the past, like, two months. That that has been the, the phrase of... The, it's the, longer than two months, man. I know the phrase itself has been out much longer than that. However, it's been used... All the time in the past, I hear it all the time in the past these past two months. I think long in the tooth is long in the tooth. <laughs> so they they announced with uh, you know I can never I can never Google them when when there's an ideas announcement like an actual announcement from Lego Ideas I can never Google it. The only the only place I ever see any information is one of the fan blogs that are all just cannibalizing each other yeah. and reposting things. I never find an official anything. Maybe they don't put out an official notice anymore. Maybe they just say, here, 17 different fan blogs that all have the same opinions and the same information. Here's your press release. Run with it. I try to Google it. I get nothing. I just get the blogs, and that's fine. I'll just go there and I'll see what they have to say. But I just wonder what's the what's the first hand news for Lego Ideas? Where do you find it? Well, you've seen like how impossible it is to navigate the Lego Ideas webpage. At least the, whenever we go in, it's it's completely different from what it was the previous time that we went in. So. Like they change things like crazy all the time, just in the in the navigation, and and really the only way that I have been able to find anything official from Lego Ideas is in the blog section, which is unfortunately like so it's so bloated with other stuff too that I'm like screw this, I'm not gonna wait, I'm not gonna yeah. weed through the blog because it's as a blog is intended, it's all sorts of stuff. I don't care about most of that other stuff, so it's just like I don't know what this is. Never mind. It's usually how I end up doing it. So I don't know if we talked about the candidates or the winners slash winner of whatever round this blacksmith shop was in. I don't even know how to pull it up. I'm trying to pull it up on ideas now. I can't pull that up. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm I'm on the like cricket ideas on the wall, and I'm trying to. How like, that happen? Uh, there's crickets on the wall. <laughs> Um, so I don't know if we, we, we talked about when this won or what, what round it was in or what else was in that round or what's going on, but Blacksmith Shop at some point got 10,000 votes and was approved, and we just saw the final, this is what it's actually going to look like when it comes out as a set, pictures. And in, in do Lego style, it's probably out on shelves already because... <laughs> Because they they gotten really good, at least as far as I know, at saying, "Hey, we're putting out a thing." Uh, Ten minutes ago, it's out. Congratulations. So let's see. Are you gonna pull this it up? I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> I had, I'm on brick set. Like that's the only that's the only way I can I can I can do it. The, the big thing have... when I when I hear when someone tells me in person, "Hey, the Lego Ideas announcement is out." I go, oh, let me go to YouTube because it's a video. Let me find it. No, you're not finding it there. It exists as a YouTube video, but you're not finding it there. 
I have to go to the, the brick fan or somewhere else, probably scroll through six articles that have come out since then, find it, and then the video is embedded in there. I'm like, it's a video, it exists. Here's the URL. All right, if I can try to find it on YouTube, up. can't. <laughs> if I could pull this up, then I will screen share. But okay, here you go. This this is one that one of those like before and afters? Yes. Uh, so let me uh, go for a quick share here. Imagine that was one of the options, quick share versus long share. He's clicking. I hear him clicking. All right. So here is before, uh, as presented uh, on Lego Ideas, uh, presented for approval. And here on the right-hand side is uh, the set proper uh, as as produced and sold by Lego here. So there is indeed a lot of difference. You, you can see... Um, it, it, the, the spirit is certainly still there, and, and a lot of uh, a, a lot of a lot of the building techniques are are mimicked in the official one, but uh, it does not look the same. Uh, I guess it, it, there there is a, a sense of um, what's the what's what's how should I put it in there? Um, it's 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 slightly neutered compared to to the original. Like the original is if if, if you consider this to be the the artist's original design and intent. This is not, it's not there. It's probably about 60% uh, of it, I'd say. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I, I'd, I'd give it 60%. Um, and um, there is- really loves those gnarly trees. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but there's, so there, there's been a lot of kind of uproar, really, uh, as Chris had mentioned there. Um, that, that things, it's, it's different now. It doesn't look like it used to. Um, it, it's Best. totally not the same. Um, this, this is not what we agreed to when we, when we approved this set. We wanted we this. To. I <laughs> put down zero dollars. I am appalled. <laughs> so I have, what I, I brought this up because Bone Shaker said, do you believe what happened to this beauty? Disgraced. God is, defig this, God is disfigured, and so on. Um, I had to, at, one, at that point, actually go look it up, because I just, I don't care, and I didn't really look at the photo. I was just like, I, honestly, I thought it was just a picture of a mock, or, God forbid, a picture of the original edition. <laughs> I, I saw the picture the day before, or maybe, maybe even earlier that day, and I said, oh, yeah, ideas project. whoop de do Because I knew this would never be a mainline Lego set. Like, it's Castle. Come on. I know better <laughs> than that. So I, I looked it up, and I got back to him, and I said, I think what's more interesting is that I don't see any problem with this. Because I haven't heard anybody say, it's good. Let's do it. <laughs> when can I buy it? They're all going to buy it, of course. But... I haven't heard anyone say anything good about it. Only bad things. Yeah. None of my so, friends are buying it, so obviously it's going to fail. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm going to pick this up because I, 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 while I will 100% concede that the original design is awesome, and this is not that. Uh, it, it, but like this, this is certainly not the first time something like this has happened from a Lego idea set. Um, no, the the one that most comes to mind is Matt's displeasure with the Barracuda Bay. Yep, Barracuda Bay is definitely different. That one, I would argue, is is probably more egregious an offense if you liked the original Barracuda Bay, um, as presented as the bay itself, which is which is this town that has sprung up over the wreckage of of the pirate ship. That is not really represented in the in the the official set. However, the play functionality of the that Barracuda the Barracuda Bay set is well past what the original designer intended. So. You have to understand from you, you would understand it from a Lego standpoint why they would do that. But yes, yeah, certainly that one is definitely different. Um, but even like way back to like the DeLorean was way different, or not way different, but it was much different from uh, from the original design that was on there. I remember reading about so this is this was early enough on where I actually did keep up with like the blogs and all that kind of stuff, and I was seeing <laughs> like, they were pointing out all the differences between it and how you could recreate. The original design um, with the with a few more pieces and all that, you can get a, a more sloped a more sloped hood and, and all that kind of stuff. Like so, this is not anything new, but 
that's that's the that that's what happens with these kind of things. When when you have a mocker that builds something and then it goes through and Lego says they're gonna produce it, the whole next phase is trying to 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 meld what the original designer was had intended and how to put that out for the public to be able to have it still be a stable and to be able to to pass any any QA and drop test, all that kind of stuff that Lego has to do. They're they're very rigorous. Um, they're, 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 all the stuff that they do in order to make it a set that can be produced and not, I don't know, kill kids and stuff like that and not fall apart uh, and, and stuff like that after they build it, that this is what ultimately happens. And sure, they, they, they probably could have gotten closer to the original design. Color palette is different. All sorts of things are different. But I mean, for me, I, this doesn't bother me at all because like it's if they were to design, have designed it to be the one on the left, the original design only, it, it it's awesome. But it's a standalone. Uh, it's 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 like the the all the Robin Ann designs. Like it's very much a theme that 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 they did. So that's the the old fishing shop. Like there was a period where he had like eight things that were all approved and waiting for um for for the uh, for for Lego's vote. Like they all looked great together. But unless Lego made that whole line, they're all standalone pieces only. Like the 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 one that Lego has produced there on the right, that could certainly fit in now with uh, with Kingdom, with Knights, Castle, what, whatever iteration they end up going with when they you do know, the next... Sh- should theme. you still own that from a decade ago? <laughs> whatever iteration they end up using for the next D2C set um, that's going to be the <laughs> Joust or the... Or the, the next medieval one build. castle set we get. Yeah, exactly. This can fit in with that no problem now. And certainly from a business standpoint... That's what Lego goes for is is to the, the extension of their brand and the extension of their own IPs as 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 much as we as as Lego Castle Kingdom whatever fans may be like and as we aren't getting the fair share of the stick because of Harry Potter kind of a thing like this is this is still their way of extending that out and putting it in that this can now fit in with the existing ones that you have so I get it from a business standpoint and I think it looks cool enough as a design. That I got no problem buying this. I, I don't get see any. I don't. Would. I don't see any problem with it at all. Like, yeah, I, I get what people would be like if they really wanted that old dilapidated, straight out of the medieval times kind of a, kind of a, of a blacksmith shop. There, I get why this is not what they expected. Maybe I'm but, blind, but I don't get it, Paul. I think that one looks just like that one. <laughs> I can certainly see the differences. However, I can appreciate what Lego does. In order to make it Lego, like that, that's that, that's the reason that this this whole Lego ideas project is a thing, is because you can get you you can we as 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 mockers as fans or whatever can go some way to try to influence what goes on the shelves. It's not that it's not necessarily that what I designed is going to be on the shelf. It's this is our chance to to actually go in and 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 make our contribution, make our mark. And, and influence what Lego is doing. And I think that is either people have forgotten that or, or I, I'm not exactly sure what has changed there, but there, there used to not be like, there, there was some, some slight, like uh, people, people, there was some slight like unhappiness when these changes happened, but it wasn't like it is now. I, everything is now just some, 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 some huge like travesty when when something like this happens and really it's not that big a deal i think this is this has certainly captured it it looks a little more bavarian now which i actually i dig that style anyway so i'm good with the changes they made even though again unlike chris i can understand why people might not like this one as much as the original uh, but i think that uh it's gonna be a fun set it is it, it may actually be a much more fun set now than it would have been before because now Lego can do the, the things that they're doing with these kinds of things, and they've, with the designers that they have, depending on who they had, um, to kind of bridge the gap here and design this set, they may be, they may be putting in all sorts of cool little building techniques. Does it um, not have any figures? I'm sure there's figures, dude. If there's no figures, there's swords in an oh. anvil. There's gotta be figures nope, in this. No, nope, no, nope. the blacksmith is out to lunch. <laughs> comes with one figure the blacksmith yeah and then maybe they'll, they'll do one of those like blister packs of like three three like kingdom figures or something like that that you can get with it but i think that for me there's enough kind of that's reminiscent um and uh, of the original like all, all the shields that are that are used for the, the the roofing tiles and all that kind of stuff like 
that's I think that's cool. Like there's no stars that are that are on there, but I don't think you needed the stars to be on there per se. Like there's, I think that there, there's enough of uh, there, there are enough nods to the original um, that that I like that I think is just still pretty cool. Like the the overall the general structure is is very similar. There's the steps. There's the there's the downstairs kind of um, ground level like building there. There's the actual forge that's there. Probably, I assume they live upstairs and like there's going to be beds um, up under the roof and all that kind of stuff. I think it'll be a very cool set. Um, it's not quite as grieveled, but there's still a lot of grieveling there, so I'm good with it. I uh, I just don't see the problem. <laughs> but like, what, what my, my big thing is that like this isn't this isn't new. Like this is this every set has gone through this this kind of a process. And and like the specifically the the, the page that this is on. If I can fucking get off of this here. Um, like, oh, geez, I didn't think I was going to zoom in. Here you go. So, again, on, on Brickset, they have an article about it. They, they talk about other ones where this has happened. Like, it's, it's, is, Wait, is the article, like, focusing in on the fact that it's different? Yeah. Like, like uh, I, I had We not heard read. your cries. Here's <laughs> an article telling you why you shouldn't be crying. <laughs> back in back in QSO times, like, it was, like, so, so the, uh, the, the the submarine one was pretty accurate to, to how it was, but here's the here's the Hayabusa, um, and they, they ranked it similarity score three out of ten, <laughs> so so not similar. Uh, uh, this is apparently the original Minecraft set as presented, and this is what we ended up getting. Like so, there's there's all sorts of things that are different. So here you go. Here's the DeLorean that we talked about before, um, produced and then and then originally presented. Like there's there's definitely differences throughout. Um, but again, that, that's that's. Wait, 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 wait. Is. Was the was the Ecto one original? The original project also had a firehouse in it. I don't believe so. I actually okay. don't know why they didn't put that, it in there. That'd be fantastic the, if it went from firehouse Ecto one was... and firehouse down to Ecto one, <laughs> and then firehouse on its own got denied because they yeah. made their own firehouse. Exactly. That's, I, I remember the firehouse getting denied because within like six months they came out with their own. But here's here's the Exo suit. Like the, the difference is there. Um, but this, I, I would imagine, much like, um, like I don't know, like 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 <laughs> like Carter's old older designs um, in 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 a, in a pre Lego oh, designer world. Like, uh, what are they say? How many how many one one stud, one stud connections, connections are yeah. there? Like this this would have been much less stable than this one, and all the griebling that's on there is still stable. So I think that that's something that Lego does well. So you there 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 is. That expectation seems to have fallen by the wayside. People seem to have forgotten that. Like the the Voltron set got remodeled and redesigned, and like everything, ideas gets redesigned. I don't it's, know if this one. They're just they're just taking the idea of it, if you will. Right. Exactly. So like, there's oh geez, Big Bang Theory. Let's see, eight out of ten. So that that was, that was actually what it looked like. Wait, yeah, what's so the, what's the scoring? This is how similar um, brick set feels they are but to the original design as presented okay and that's really so so this is arbitrary this is subjective fully what they this is how how they are thinking it is um but there you go look at look at wally i think wally looks much better in the lego design like the, the lego redesign looks great it's bigger and it has it's much more motive because they, they did that and so something like this is a very positive change um i think that uh, like it, it, it certainly is something that I mean, it, it. If you want to play, if if you want to like, if you want to if you want to participate, you got to play ball. Like this, this is that's that's them the rules, as uh, as they like to say. Like that, that's just how it goes. Um, oh, there's the catcher. I never end up getting the catcher. Catcher. <laughs> oh gosh, there's, there's Adventure Time. <laughs> I love Adventure Time, and I didn't pick up that set. <laughs> Not even at Coles on Not clearance. Even at Coles. I wanted minifigures is, is what I wanted. So the Dimensions ones worked for me 100%. Um, even though there's more characters here, I just didn't like how they looked. They, they, they did not appeal to me in their in their brick-built design. With the possible exception of Lady Rainicorn, that, that might have been the one that I would have done. Uh, but that's about it. I could always build my own. <laughs> but here you go, Old Fishing Store. That one... There you go. Got a nine out of ten. Voltron five out of ten. So the big differences between Voltron before and afterwards, but but certain ones are great. Like it is what it is. That's just how it goes. 
Oh, there you go. Yeah, ship and model was another big change in the ship and the bottle. Um, they went from the big kind of um, the wine gallon size bottle to the, the regular wine bottle size bottle. And the ship inside was definitely, uh, again, I'll use the word neutered in there. It was a, a much more uh, impressive ship at first inside, and then it got to be a fairly simple one inside. But I mean, you can't, you can't argue with it. Like Lego is, the, the changes they've made have made this a very popular set. They, it's so much so that it got retired and they brought it back again. Like that's, that's crazy. Like they've, they've, they, like that it was obviously um, well thought of enough that it did well. So, do you know if there was a gap between it retiring and it coming back? I believe there was a gap, um, and it, it, it's interesting to note that like it's it's got a different set number and all that kind of stuff now, even though it's the exact same set. Um, it's but it's no longer uh, two one three one three. It's something else in along the line, like uh, just in line with the with the the next release that they would have had. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they ended up doing it that way. That's other than like, do they not have to pay that guy anymore now? Does Jake Sadovich not, not get his cut of the money anymore now that it's not this set? Uh, wasn't set two, wasn't one of those two reissues the, the set number was the, the birth date of the designer or something like that? Oh, honestly, I don't it just remember. happened to line up like that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that, that detail. Who may or may not be still getting paid for it. <laughs> oh, here's Tron. Yeah, all sorts of stuff has been changed over over the years um, the, through for, through these idea sets. So I don't really, I don't quite get the the outrage. Um, I I mean I I should, I should say I don't feel the outrage. I get why people might be upset, but I think that uh, the their degree of anger uh, may be a little misplaced. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it has to do with the fact that it's an original IP and they seem to feel like there does, doesn't need to be any concessions since it's not, doesn't have to pass a test of some other company. Perhaps. I guess there's that, but there's a, but again, it, it needs to pass the Lego test also. So uh, like it, you can be real cynical about it. And I tend to be very cynical about these things, but like, like there, 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 there's a certain point where what they're doing is still good. Like they, they have to make it to their, their specifications, and I would have to. There, there is no way that the original design uh, of the blacksmith shop was fully to, to, to kind of, that like there were no illegal building techniques in there. There's no way. Like that, I'm sure, in order to get that shaping and that sculpting, there's been some, some less than uh, uh, savory in quotes like building techniques that savory. that were used. To, to accomplish that well look at it look at this way we talk about uh, the masterpiece version of a uh, classic lego sets we talk about that pretty mm -hmm. often what if the original proposed ideas idea what is the masterpiece and then we're getting the retail release which is exactly what we're always getting the retail release it's from lego what if uh, it's just instead of Instead of Lego makes a set and then you make it better on your own, what if you, as in the person who submitted it, made it better on their own and it wasn't based on anything, and then Lego makes a set out of it? It's just the reverse is happening. Yeah, I think we, like this. This probably happened all the time, and it's just now. Now it's a much, it's much more publicized that we're kind of involved in the process again. In quotes, like how how much data. Are they looking to gather through ideas before they go, okay, that's, we're good. That's enough. <laughs> it almost seems like it's more, it, it's not worth what they're getting out of it. Just the, the fact that they have to keep changing the rules and putting up with more and more and more designs hitting 10,000. Well, yeah, like, they, like, they could just up the number. Try. Like, you yeah. could have to reach 50,000 and then you wouldn't have to deal with nearly as much nonsense. I think it's uh, like the the game has changed now. It's 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 less. I don't know, innocent as, as it used to be. Like it's like people used to just be like, yeah, I can't believe I got the I got Lego to even look at my idea. Now it's great. Now there's people that are just going by trying to win, like the process and get to the ten thousand votes just to get yeah, it there. If, as you, have, if you have a big enough following, exactly. you could put something, anything on ideas every week and get to 10,000 every week just by reaching your audience and saying, 
hey, go vote for this because I know you will. Or you can, and, and they don't have to be any good at all until Lego goes, all right, that's enough out of you. <laughs> you can definitely do that. You, or you, you would just go to, man, everyone loves The Office. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to present The Office again and put, a, put forth another office set because that will get 10000 Like it's, 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 it's changed things. Um, and, and I think maybe with, with that change and because it has brought in other people and it's not quite as kind of pure as it used to be, now that now is when you get all the angry people will come about I'm talking about they've changed my design and they changed that guy's design and I loved it the way it was and now look at it it's, they they bastardized it it's nothing like it used to be and before it was not it it wasn't quite as uh, publicized it, it it wasn't quite as outragey certainly um, back in the day <laughs> in the in my to, to okay boomer myself with Lego ideas. <laughs> So, are you getting the blacksmith shop? Yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up. What um, if it this comes is, with no minifigures. I'll, I'll pick it up. It's a cool design. I like the design. <laughs> It'll go into my shame pile for now, because I, because I ended up, I, I got, I got Lego gift cards and stuff for for Christmas as as I usually do, and also as I usually do, I, I tend to spend them right away so that uh, the people who got me those gift cards can see kind of, um, what what their what their money has gone to, and that I appreciate it. Um, and it, it, it gives. It, 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 I have. I've always found that it, it. I show my appreciation. Uh, they, they they see my appreciation more when I get when I use it right away instead of sitting on it for like nine months and oh yeah here you know I use that, that gift card finally, um, but of course I don't have anything in hand because everything is like sold out <laughs> right away, uh, so it's all still coming. <laughs> but I've got a couple modulars coming. I've got uh, uh, not the Christmas set, which hopefully like. Uh, That'll come back in stock, but maybe not until next year. But Chinese New Year sets are coming out in five days, like so. There's going to be a lot of purchases coming up right away here. <laughs> yeah, and they look good this year. Yeah, Actually, I'm I, I've been waiting on. I think I talked about it on the show where I ordered some model kits on Black Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for Thanksgiving, and they sent me one thing that was the wrong thing. So uh, I said, hey, you sent me the wrong thing. And they said, well, we'll send you the right thing. And then we'll, we'll give you another label so you can put the wrong thing back in the box. This one came in and ship it back to us. Well, they sent me the wrong thing a second time. <laughs> so I, I then uh, shipped back to them the two things with my own label, which they paid me for. So they didn't have to. But they, they refunded what I paid in the postage to get that back to them. And they sent me out the right thing a third time. Well, it turns out when they sent out the third package, um, it was right when the USPS world was about to end. Oh, boy. <laughs> so uh, going from uh, New Jersey, like close to where dust lives, to to me, <laughs> um, it has been almost a month <laughs> for a priority package. <laughs> and I know that's nothing new for anybody. Uh, so you haven't but, it yet, in other words, no, I haven't gotten the quote third times the charm package, which I really <laughs> hope is the right thing. Like, Hopefully, it is. if it's the wrong thing, I'm just putting it on eBay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, out. The, the I'm, out. Off. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, well, that's I guess that can happen when you have a lot of things with similar names. But uh, I checked the tracking, and the tracking is really intuitive with um depending on what day you check it it updates the last post of basically like it's moving and grooving i don't know where it is but it's it's transiting it updates that to the day you look so it always looks like something fresh is there because <laughs> every time i looked it was the same thing but it was today's date and not and not last time i looked's date Oh, very sneaky yes, USPS. Yes, that's that's a that's a smart way to do it, I guess. It is. It is. Uh, I checked today, and there was a new posting on there from yesterday uh, in uh, Philadelphia. Previously, it had not left some sorting facility in North Jersey, <laughs> uh, but it hit Philadelphia apparently yesterday. So I might actually see that package sometime. Someday. Someday soon, hopefully. Someday, I just hope it's the right thing. 
<laughs> I'm driving up there. If it's the wrong thing, I'm like, I, I'm my way. <laughs> All right. Speaking of ideas, we're, we're already at over an hour, but do you want to go over real quick the idea sets that were uh, approved? If you got it ready to roll. I've got it up. So I think in order for us oh, to man. do this. I know this is your favorite segment. So Any sort of expediency. We'll just sit, we'll look at it. Do you like it? Yes, no. Will it be produced? Yes, no. Let's try to let's try to All right. it. Somewhere when Kenny's keeping it. notes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Where's Kenny? He died, right. man. Let me uh Black let me Friday share. killed him. <laughs> Fourth quarter killed him. He's dead now. <laughs> Shout out to Kenny. Kenny Prime. No, we, we can't we can't say that because Mike was on our show. Oh, true. <laughs> All right. So um these are in the order that the Lego Ideas blog has them up, uh, and, and nothing other than that. So first one, Boeing 737 passenger plane. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Will it be produced? Yes, no. I don't like it. No, but Lego has a history with Boeing and individual plane sets of different um, manufacturers. So it's a maybe. Yeah, it's decent. Um, I... I think it would go through a lot of redesign as well. I would imagine these wings are not super stable um, with, with the way that hit they're him, built. Hit him with the giant one-piece wing. <laughs> or the shell on the top of the plane itself. <laughs> this will be oh, like a 20-piece set. <laughs> they're going to be like, look, guys, we make a lot of airplanes, and they all look the same. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're green. Get over it. Uh, uh, the only way that – I'm going to say this will not get produced out of ideas. Uh, I think if there, there, there still may be a Boeing plane produced, but it will be um, a project, a collaboration between Boeing and what if Lego. They would do officially Boeing. licensed Boeing yep. city airport set. Like it's a regular city wave set, but it's got a Boeing tie-in, kind of like the the space city sets had the NASA tie-in. I wonder if they would do a tie-in at that level. I think th I think that is probably more likely. Though I would have to say it's still going to be a one, it'll be a one-off like big set piece again, but I think it'll. I, I don't think it's going to be coming through ideas. So I don't think this is going to get approved through ideas. Next, Coliseum. <laughs> so, to be fair, this is like the the big ass Coliseum now, but done in kind of the, your your Lego Coliseum or your Lego architecture, like. 300 piece no, set they're just gonna do a rome skyline next yeah, and then... this is gonna be a no uh for sure because you can sell the big coliseum at the coliseum as a, as like a as as like a souvenir kind of set that's though it though expensive they're not gonna have this one there also so there, there's no way this will get made unfortunately it is a cool I design i mean i feel like souvenir shops mostly sell to people who traveled there not people who can just walk that big ass box home <laughs> you're really buying that like 30 pound box no no no. but you, you're, you're right there but i've just again from from the architecture line uh and then again uh from from conversations i've had with with adam etc they they Whoa. lego tends to lego likes to have what they call the souvenir set which is kind of the smaller set that you can take and pull out however they don't do it off of sets that they are also selling and promoting. Well, at maybe the time. maybe they'll do a skyline for Rome. I think that that, that is more likely. So this is this is a no. Uh, I don't I don't know what else is in it and is in it like is it like is like the basilica. They may, technically um, like like so you could you could technically have like Vatican City it has its own city obviously, but there's so much you can do the Spanish Steps. You can there there's so many different things that you can do. You can have. Um, a, yeah, the steps are really going to go over well on that scale. It, on the micro is the scale. But it's like, it, it could just be... It's just printed, called, right? It's just like a slope and it's printed to look like steps. The, the skylines are more... Those are definitely the idea of. So, like, you have the Trevi Fountain there or something like that. It's just a, a little tiny thing with a little fountain. Like, it's just more reminiscent of and i think they could certainly do that because that's one of the big things that's their uh, pantheon like all sorts of stuff you can certainly do a rome skyline set for sure this was not going to get made unfortunately for this guy gravity falls mystery shack uh, i think this is what the, the second or third time gravity falls the, the shack has gone through. now with totem pole <laughs> exactly so this is again going to be a no though again fun design i love gravity falls uh, but i don't think that the original one was designed or was denied because it was like you were so close. If only you had made it with 
10 fewer pieces or whatever it might have been. Oh, you then went too hard with the greebling on the roof. We yeah, can't exactly. mimic that. Yeah, this, this, this is a no. <laughs> so it looks great. Again, I, I would love it if it wasn't made. <laughs> and here's another one. Bricktown Police Station. Uh, sorry, this is also a no, being that the modular uh, just came out. What's the, Wait, what's the store that's next to the police station in the actual modular? Um, is, it, I, is it a donut shop? Oh, I think it might actually be a donut shop. What's the store that's next to this police station? It looks an awful lot like a donut shop, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. It's almost like there's a theme here. <laughs> now I want to I, I, I wanna verify just so we're not... I, I looked at it the other day. Cause I it's, have it on order. It's coming. It's odd because the, the two buildings next to the police station on the on the official modular are so skinny. Yeah, very it's skinny. like if you took... Like, half is the police station, but if you took the half and moved it to the middle, then you have a quarter and a quarter on the sides. Yeah. They're not wide enough to be their own thing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very small. So one is indeed a donut shop, so that there, there is oh indeed a donut shop left there. And I'm going to assume the other one's an apartment, because they're always apartments, <laughs> somehow, in the modulars. Uh, there's a newsstand in front of it, um, but it is, but does look, look, look to be... Um, Maybe an apartment up on the top. There's a donut shop next to the police yeah. station. Yeah, so th th this is a no. <laughs> Easy enough. Uh, bag end. Um, I don't know what this is. This, is, this has got to be a, like a, a Harry. Oh, sorry, I almost said Harry Potter. This is a, a Lord of the Rings. This is uh, this is the this is the a Hobbit set, I guess. Yeah, Come they did it. Oh. You yeah, missed so it. Sorry, dude. It came out several years ago. Yeah, no, so this is no. Even though I can appreciate the fact that he's combined the book and and. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the existing he's connecting set. he's connecting the yarn together like all right they like books they've done <laughs> several books some of them fold some of them don't but they like books as the base what it can i put on a book well something from a book maybe what comes from books well harry, or, not harry Potter, lord <laughs> of the rings and the hobbit they were all books well books books uh we got it yeah <laughs> so this is one where you where you play to win you you get you play to win the ideas game. You don't. It's not going to get produced. He got his ten thousand votes uh, because of it. But yeah, this this is a big no on this one here. Someone has has somebody has had two ideas uh, projects made right, but no one's done three. Someone's uh, got, someone it, is running for three. Not J.K. Brickworks. Um, or is it J.K. Brickworks? Um, the 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 Marble Maze I think was one and. Um, it was it was the the artsier ones the, 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 like two of the artsier or like the, it wasn't tied to an IP. Um, Maybe well, one of them I, hasn't come out yet. Uh, I think Marble Maze was was one of theirs. I don't remember now. What? Um, but I don't, no one's done three. Correct. I believe you are correct. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> this is the Red Dwarf Starbug. Uh, looks very cool, and I imagine is very accurate. What the hell I, is that? I have to say this is not going to get made because. Red Dwarf was what from the from the the eighties. Um, I don't think this is though. Though there is plenty of the nostalgia um, kind of sets that are coming out. I don't think this is a big enough pull. It is, is a book. Is it a movie? Is it a TV show? Uh, I, mean, I, I know things don't have to be things, but it. I, I I take it from what you're saying. This is from something. It's a, it is a nerd property. I think it's movie. I think I, I believe Red Dwarf is a movie. If not, it's a TV series. I don't remember which one. Uh, but it has spun off books and like comics and all that kind of stuff too. Um, but yeah, this is not. I have never heard of it. <laughs> this and is, somebody this said, is "Hey, book. I heard that one of the tests to be a Lego designer is you have to make a sphere. Uh, I made you three. Do <laughs> I get in now?" <laughs> and that's nothing against the shape of the the vehicle from whatever it's from. More so, it's against the idea that someone could say. I made your sphere three times. Do you love me yet? So there you go. It's a, it's a sitcom from the 80s. It was very popular. It's a UK sitcom. So it definitely has its its audience, but it's the it's it's got its audience, which is what got it as 10,000 votes. It's not going to be a big enough draw. Secretly, you know what, it's like a absolutely oh. huge property in <laughs> England, and they, they do make this one, and it's gangbusters over there, and everyone over here is like, I don't, I don't, I mean, Sand Green's cool, so I'm in, but I don't <laughs> know what like, that is. Doctor Who, got, Doctor Who is huge? That'll be, but the, look is this how green Doctor Who? I thought he was blue. <laughs> like a dark blue. So, uh, for, for Red Dwarf fans, and, and honestly, like, hopefully it does. If, if it gets made, that's awesome. It's, it's a cool precedent to be set if it does, um, but I don't think this one's going to be made. Um, let's see. Avatar The Last Airbender. Yep, yep. I would love this set to be made, but it's not going to get made. 
the um, hell is yip yip? Uh, yip yip is what is what Ang says to get um, to get Appa to start flying to to go up into the sky. It's 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 like a uh, what do you what do you say when you're on a horse? On dancer, on deck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you get when you when you spur the horse in order to get it to go. They're like, yeah, it's yip yip. That's what he says to to him. I haven't watched it. There's too many good anime to watch. Oh man, Avatar is great. It's a, it's and, a phenomenal and arguably not anime. Agreed. I, did, I didn't say it was. I just said and it was a phenomenal. Paul, show. got a little tangent. Answer me this: Why on Funimation simul simul dubs, which is their their trademarked way of saying dubs. <laughs> it's all caps and it's like simul dubs oh that's fancy why is Kaguya-sama season 2 in English and season 1 is not in English they made it in English? yes Vicky and I are watching season 2 didn't watch season 1 but fuck that we're jumping into season 2 I, how is it? Like, I don't know how well that would translate in, Like, it, it is something that is very very Japanese I think the so, way that the show so what I'm taking away from what we've watched the season two so far is that it is probably best a manga and not an anime because of how much is happening at once. There's frequently three characters talking and a narrator saying something funny over the top. And I'm like, this, this is way too much audio layering. It makes sense when it's laid out on a page and it's like, you read it from here to here. It doesn't really matter what order you read it on, but you can read it all and you can hear it all in your head. But in the show, it's everyone's talking all at once. Yeah, that that is annoying. Usually, when in, in, at least, it's not, add to that, reading the subtitles. So like, it's it's you're trying to read subtitles. Oh hell, yeah. Screen, I yeah, I don't think I want to watch season one if the, I have uh, to read it. <laughs> whenever the narrator comes, that's really the only really important part is is there because because it, it it's very much in like. Japanese games game show style. Oh yeah, like, oh yeah. yeah well, no, if no. if you if you want to check out it in English, season two is in English. I don't know if you watch season two, but it that's in English. So you can watch that. I'm dying to see how it is in English now, just to see because I usually prefer the dub just because it's easier and and I can consume much more that way. But I can't see this translating as well in English unless they get someone who is just balls to the wall way over the top oh it the is the narrator's over the top it's pretty oh, good hate it. <laughs> yeah we uh we're enjoying it um good. I'm glad, cause i glad because i loved that that anime season one is phenomenal yeah i i feel like i and don't two, need two. to watch season one like aside from no, no you don't really not knowing who anyone is in the first episode of season two even though they like you're supposed to know who everyone is, so every they don't they don't introduce anybody. It's just like these are the characters. Why don't you know them? Yeah, like, like uh, you don't really need to know like much because I, I, I it 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 builds sort of that there is a very slow burn story because you know they're ultimately going to end up together at the end of the anime. That's it because they don't get together by the end of season one. They won't get together by the end of season two. Like that, oh, yeah, that's it, it, that's just. No just <laughs> that's that's how serialization works. It's exactly. like no, nothing ever actually happens. All right, tangent over. Right. <laughs> um, anyway, so Avatar, Avatar like... irrelevant. Next. <laughs> Sorry, it won't get made. Even though I really wish it would, because I loved Avatar. Uh, classic castle looks great, man. This is a great design. Um, but yeah, that's a no. Shout uh, out to that dude's garage. <laughs> whatever he took that in. <laughs> it does. It certainly, this looks like it's 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 a. Either just a chunk of cement, or it's a waterfall like, like island that he's got here and all that kind of stuff. But this is a great design. I love this. Um, but yeah, is that not- secretly just like the castle that was on the A Fold Designer program on Bricklink? <laughs> like, oh, I'm a double dip. Oh, geez. we could talk about that in another episode, I suppose. <laughs> the, let's see. Open MRI. Interesting, but this is definitely a no. Um, like it's like I've never seen anything like this pitch. How the anywhere. hell did that get ten thousand votes? That's, I don't know. They must have passed that around in the hospitals or something because <laughs> that this is like for all you frontline like uh, hospital workers or healthcare workers, vote this oh, in there. Dude, that yeah, that was totally like a uh, what do they call it? A nurse share? <laughs> Not a mom share, but a nurse share. All 
<laughs> all the people who work at hospitals just pass this around like, oh, little Tammy built this great thing. Oh, they Lego will make it. Yes, yeah, Lego will make it. Quote. There's, there's magnetic features, so there's apparently something inside. There's a uh, magnet inside. Yeah, I, I, I do not see this being made. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know if I'd buy it if it was made. Um, because this is, is that not... is that a cat? What's what's on top of it? I, I got nothing. So it's got eyeballs. It, it could be like their their kind of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mascot for a cat scan? Maybe I don't know. Oh, I guess <laughs> I got the money. I got nothing on this one. Uh, but but the fact that it's not going to get made, uh, unfortunately. Good for you, Apollo X Conde, for getting this uh, through or getting ten thousand supporters. But yeah, that's a no. Motorized lighthouse. This is awesome. I think this looks really, really cool. Oh man, it has a thousand percent chance of not including any of the rock underneath it. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> it's gonna be from the floorboards up. <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be no motorization. I think you, you'll get a light brick if anything, if it does get produced. But man, Lego's made a bunch of lighthouses. I don't know. They're not gonna Wouldn't make. You put a light brick on the top and then a long axle through the through the middle and then have uh, a gearbox at the bottom. And just have a crank out the one side. You could spin it, and the light it would be geared down so it moves slowly. But it, the light would spin. And then also, if you want to go by power functions, you can just plug that into where the crank is, and then then it'll do the same thing. Motorized. Do the light bricks stay on? They don't, though. You, you, don't you have to keep pressing it in order for it to keep to to stay on? Like they don't lock in place. Like no, like, well, but it's... they could they could make something. They could make some th some function where not only when you when you spin the crank does it does it Locked rotate up. but it also applies pressure to it i'm yeah. sure they yeah 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 they could why, why are you why are you saying they can't i could i'm just saying that have they, you seen the shit they've done <laughs> just they generally don't that's all that, that that's that's more what i was going for um, and then the 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 power functions could be stored inside that little shed on the side if you want could be cool um i don't think it's gonna get made though They've made plenty of lighthouses on their own. I don't know if they're going to say, yeah, this guy's lighthouse is better than ours. Sorry, we have a lighthouse plan for two years from now, city sets. So. <laughs> what do you think? And then also, it? again, it? from six years from now, city sets. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying no on this one. What do you think? Yes or no? No. Okay. Uh, this is the other Avatar. Oh, Avatar, man. the Illuminated World of Pandora. Um, there are two Avatar movies that are that are apparently being made and will be made will be coming out soon, per James Cameron. I don't know how how soon soon actually is, um, but I'm gonna guess a no on this one as well. I've never seen it. I've got no interest. From what I've heard, it was just like it's only good because it was visually appealing at the time. It was it was it was like groundbreaking at the time certainly um nowadays i don't know if it's if it would be and it was uh, it's a cool world that created um it looks awesome but um yeah i think if there's going to be any avatar sets that are made it will be again in in collaboration between james cameron and lego and not through lego ideas so mm -hmm. unfortunately this is going to be a no spirited away by by Lego Truman, you, uh, we're we're both super weebs now. Uh, Spirited Away, arguably the most uh, well received and well known Ghibli film. Uh, will this I, get? I haven't seen any Ghibli films, but I I can't look at those faces anymore. Gotta, <laughs> you got to keep scrolling, man. <laughs> yeah, this oh, is probably a no also because I I don't think that uh, I think the license is going to be way too expensive to get this. Um, How about like just the dragon or something? Look <laughs> at you seen that building. You see the size of that building? Yeah, that is also true. It's is huge. it also on a book? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, unfortunately it's a no, even though Spirit Away is awesome. Jumanji of 95, the original Jumanji uh, being being turned into a Lego set. Is that a uh, book? Is that on a book? <laughs> <laughs> it's a broken house, a broken home, <laughs> if you will. Um, uh, unfortunately, this is a no. Even though the, the, the movies have, have reinvigorated this property, I don't think that this is going to be produced. I think if they're going to do one at all, it would be from the newer ones. And I don't think those lend themselves as well to, uh, to maybe, a Lego. Maybe if like the Lego games, the board games theme, was still happening while this hit the ideas circuit, it could, it could work together. I could kind of see that, or they would do they they would make they could make a just a Jumanji game, 
or, or, or that kind of thing. I don't know, though. If they made this, I wouldn't be surprised. You think so? Yeah, they, they keep doing all these nostalgia properties where Is there's, this no, there's no ramifications. We're going to put out this one thing. There it is. You can buy it if you want. And then it's gone. Like the Flintstones. We did this one Flintstones thing. Buy it if you want. That's, That's true. it. All, all the other nostalgia ones have spawned off into other things. Um, but well, not they, the, no, they, no, no, they haven't. Well, they haven't. Uh, so Ecto-1 did. Um, it, turned, it spawned off into a few Ghostbuster sets. The the um, DeLorean got the, the Dimensions pieces. Uh, it probably and, depends on what studio those are from. That's true. It could, it could be that, too. If it's all like Warner Brothers, like then, Scooby then the, there's the, the kind of a connection there. But if I don't know who produced Jumanji, but if it's not Warner Brothers, then it's probably not going to go any further. Yeah. This guy looks like Terry Crews to me. It's the biggest <laughs> smile, I think. All right. Let's see what else we got. Little Venice by Bricky Brick. I dig this a lot. Uh, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I think it does. Um, it's in the vein of the Ninjago City docks, um, where they kind of have a very similar kind of build style for the river and the water, um, and kind of does something similar. Um, if this you does, want, you want to talk about neutering, though? Yeah, I'm gonna put this out, out as a ninety dollar creator set, where it's just the front of three buildings. Yep, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Is okay, it, good, it, good. It, it is gonna be neutered like crazy. Either it's gonna be half the size, or none of this detail is gonna be there. Unfortunately, I think yours is probably more likely that it would just be the front facade. Um, unfortunately, and it would be almost. Like, have you seen the walk. Friends Italian restaurant? Like we did this already, guys. Buy that. <laughs> all right and so let's see auto union type c race car this is actually really cool a lot of cool details looks like it's pretty damn big too um i don't know about this one actually it, it would fall in line with the with the catrum and, and and those kind of designs um so my question is is this a very popular Specific. I don't want to, I, I don't want to call it a vehicle because that would in, insist that uh, you know people could just go buy it. But is this a popular thing in England? Because if the English like this car, it'll probably get made as an idea set. It is. I mean, this is really well done. Like some of the, you can see some of the techniques and designs that they've done are great. Like really, it's really techniques. Good. Some of the techniques. <laughs> but I like the, the, the axle work. Uh, I like the, the sculpting up top, the angles that they've been able to create. I, I think it's really, really well done. Um, I don't know, though, man. Like, it, 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 so yeah, I think it, it's most likely, again, If it, I think you're probably right. It's not going to end up being a creator set that they make. So if it's going to get made, it would be made through ideas in this case. So that would be a good sign there, um, a, a good leading in this direction. I wonder how much they would retain from this design, though, if they were to have made it. Make it tiny. It'll be in the Speed Champions line. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I mean, just look at this. Look at all the, the number of pieces that, they, that this this is. Like this is this this is this right over here is already like almost like seventy pieces. Oh no, these are probably, these could be, I don't know, but yeah, this is a lot of pieces. Uh, it will definitely also get neutered, unfortunately, if it does get made. Automated garbage truck. I saw the video for this. This is really cool. It's 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 a lot of fun, and just with some gears, it actually um, the, with with the armature does come down from the truck, and the, the the claw arms will actually go around the garbage can, and it will dump it into the the truck. Really really cool. I'm gonna guess it's a no though. Unfortunately, um, you may get something a more advanced garbage truck in your city line down the line. They but they, think... they already made the best. Uh, it was a recycling truck, but they already made the best one functionally. It was in like 1994. It was this little four wide cab with a, a red recycling container on the back. Mm -hmm. It had this like hook arm with with a rubber band that would would pick up or drop down the container onto the ground, like when a dumpster is being delivered to a location. 
<laughs> and I don't think those parts were ever used anywhere else. It was just in that truck. It cannot be topped. <laughs> I will believe they you broke on that. the mold after they made that one. They, they almost topped it uh, in the Lego movie when they made it, <laughs> when they made that garbage truck that could the turn trash chomper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the only way you could top it or not top it. The only way you could compete is if you go completely up, up the direction with it and make it turn into something else. Lego said, you're going to come at me with a trash <laughs> truck. We invented the trash truck. Nah, son. Uh, TX master games. Um, I did not know at all what this was when I just by looking at this. Um, it's it's apparently like I had to drill through to kind of get the description. It's like a taekwondo like like dojo. Uh, oh you know, sure. So this, this is this is like a martial arts dojo or like a tournament type thing, and I think you actually like it's a game associated with it as well. Um, so you roll and you get different colors. Maybe you can advance certain ways or something like that. I will say. Right off the bat, because it took it was so hard to figure out what this was just by looking at it, it's a no. Um, I don't think it's going to get made because of that. If it does get made, um, this is where Lego is going to have to step in big time and really change things around so it becomes much more recognizable as to what it is just by looking at it. Um, and the game aspect might be actually very fun, but um, they'd have to go back to games uh, again. So, so how did this get to 10,000? No idea. This must have been, uh, um, this is uh, one of those sensei shares. <laughs> uh, hashtag sensei share. There you go. Yeah, he, he just t- shares it with, with all the other um, <laughs> local martial arts studios and, and all the parents and kids that go there and they just kept passing around. They went to, uh, went to a competition and they had a banner made and it's easy yeah, it's, like, it's easy to get to ten thousand. they handed out the flyers they, they printed out the flyers at uh, at kinko's and uh and then they just handed that shit out yeah I, I, yeah this is this a no uh great job I, I, I can't even tell if that's just like a super um what what's the grade of carpet that you like the office grade carpet <laughs> just like the 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 red and the blue sections on the on the edges, not in the middle, because I can tell that's like the mat. But on the edges, where it's just the red and the blue, and it seems kind of sporadic. I feel <laughs> like that's those those office carpet squares that that they lay down, kind of randomized. So you can, if you if you see the whole room without any furniture in it, you'd be like, oh, I think there's a pattern here, but there might not be. So you can <laughs> you replace know the you can replace them with no issue. It doesn't matter what yeah. color. You just fix it yeah. because there's this no is color. where Karen died. We got to replace that carpet square. All right. Yeah. Sorry. This is, this is a no TK Master or TX Master, but good job. Uh, Milwaukee Art Museum. This is this is great. This looks exactly like what the museum that, looks like. That's in Manhattan, right? <laughs> I would love it if this set got made. However, this is that's again. The, that's the Ground Zero thing, right? <laughs> I'm being serious. What is sure. scroll up? I can't see what it is. Milwaukee Art Museum in Milwaukee. Oh, oh shit. Dude, that I mean, I've never seen it from further than under it, but the thing in at, at ground zero kind of looks like that, right? It's I've white, it's pointy. So so I don't know. This is actually like this all the if you meant like wings, the, the whole wing thing, they all move in the, like in the actual uh Milwaukee Art Museum. And I would I imagine these are all um yeah there looks like they're on kind of friction they use the claw in there so you can you can adjust it you'll never get it as pretty as this ever <laughs> but um but you can adjust them so that they can it, it will mimic the actual you're gonna have museum. to look up the uh the grand zero monument in manhattan yeah i, I'll, I'll, I definitely will because after this I, it could look nothing like this but they're both pointy and they're both white <laughs> Uh, this I would love if this got made because I've been I've been there multiple times. My sister lives in Milwaukee. We love what the Milwaukee. How does Wisconsin know about art? <laughs> the, how many the, how many rooms are dedicated to cheese? <laughs> the uh, the Harley um, the Harley Museum is also there <laughs> in, in Milwaukee. Um, but uh, yeah, if they're gonna ever make this design, the design this building, it's gonna be in the architecture line. It won't come through ideas. So this is unfortunately a no because this is a great design. They did a really good job with this, but yeah, it's not gonna get made. The Car Wash by Bricky Brick. 
Uh, so they modular have, they style. Have least, they have two things, at least two things in this round. You said bricky brick already today. Did I? I don't remember Let's... who, which one it was. Bricky underscore brick. Little Venice was the other one. Oh yeah, so so there you go. Bricky Brick is very prolific with his designs or her designs or their designs, I suppose. Um, and this one is in a very different style. So they've got a lot of very uh, diverse building. Where's, uh, uh, like... where's Will Smith as a shark? <laughs> so this is uh, very this is uh, very much in the to, to go along with your the, the diner the, the the modular diner uh, that I they have. I think I, in... I, I watched somebody watch that movie on an airplane. <laughs> what is that one called? I was gonna say it's Men in Black Three. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a, there's a Pixar. Um, no, I don't think it was Pixar. Was it then, just Shark? Then it was DreamWorks. I don't know. Same yeah. thing. But uh, yeah, I don't. I, I can't think of the name. I I can't think it of the was, name. It was the underwater one. They're all fish. Is it shark? Is it shark? Shark's tail. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, it sounds. Sounds right. Uh, but yeah, so. Um, this is designed obviously to, to to fit alongside your your corner diner or your uh, your fifties diner modular set. Looks great. Uh, I'm gonna guess no. I'll tell you Lego what work. though, if they make it, Lego ain't making the tree like that. It'll be super wonky instead. <laughs> like I love the the electric guitar. Like this is this is great. Like it's just really a really smart design. I love the car also. Like so many things about this, I think are great. I love the glass. They just make the car. Yeah, they may. It'll be the vintage car. Or they just, they just came out with vintage car. So it won't it'll be, be that. It'll, they'll call it the car wash, but it'll just be like some people with a bucket and some sponges and that car. Car <laughs> wash, right? Car wash. Um, yeah, unfortunately, there's going to be a no also. It is my prediction on this one. I like the parrot, though. You can't hold for us no to any of these, in these predictions. Wallace and Gromit. Uh, this is great, actually. This, the, 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 uh, the I'm similarity sure it's, is. It's, I'm sure it's big enough in England that it'll just be like, yep. Yeah, this is a uh, Wallace Gromit. I think it's the, the wrong pants. I think it's specifically from that one. At least this is for these are those the, the pants. Um, I know that one. Yeah, I could see it. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think this is a big enough thing for a full collaboration in there. So it's not going to come out in a separate line. If it's going to come out, ideas would be the place to put it. I think. Um, and there's there's a, a lot of nods. This, this this is a very good representation of the of the the animated cartoon, or the animated show. Um, does maybe this, actually. Does this designer also have a chicken run project? Almost to ten thousand. <laughs> chicken run is not 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 quite as a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Well, uh, it's, no. it's not quite. I guess. Um, but yeah, I think it, this one may. I think. I, I could see this one getting made. I don't know if it's, it'll it's be. It's the neutered. kind of set that'll get made, and then none of your friends are buying it. So you really question who's buying it. But then everyone in England bought three copies each. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully it'll get made. I would buy it if it got made because I love. Is, I, I, is I, ideas I, secretly just the? How do we get the United Kingdom market completely <laughs> infatuated? <laughs> Maybe and it's, it, that that well, that's some long term strategizing and how to do that there. But yeah, this is a great set. I would totally buy this. Everything about this is great. Yeah, you know, um, I thought you said strategizing, and I was like, oh yeah. Among Us, the Skeld. Is uh, that even a thing anymore? Uh, I think <laughs> it on. still is. But, Come on, um, guys, you can't no. you can't make an ideas you can't launch an ideas project when a fab starts. Yeah, fad. So, sorry fad starts and then and then expect it to line up by the time this actually gets made uh this will this game will have gone into obscurity so this is a big no uh, unfortunately on this one so sorry it, it's real easy to get ten thousand by going into the most popular game at the moment but yeah this is definitely not gonna get made because that's not stay <laughs> yeah. roman worship or sorry roman warship uh, not worship um this is actually really really cool uh, I think it's an awesome design, but I don't think it's going to get made. Um, I like everything about this, actually. Um, I love the the design, the sculpting that they did. I love the little tail up there. Also, it looks really cool. Uh, I love the Roman legion that they have in it. Um, and I even love the base. Really, really cool. I don't know where these tigers are from, but they're cool. 
Uh, but I don't think he's going to get made. City uh, Jungle, right? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess it, is it like so there's the the Tiger Garage in there, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cougar Garage, yeah. <laughs> Someone just wanted Lego to put out the, the Legionnaires like, again. Um, yeah, that, that actually could be it. They're just so like, this is the, this is the how, I I didn't buy a million of them. Yeah. How do I get more of them? <laughs> yeah, both of these are CMFs, and they wanted more. <laughs> um, yeah. So unfortunately, I think this is a no. What do you think on this one? I don't know. It's kind of got that something on the shelf in your lawyer's office vibe. It does certainly have that vibe. So, so clearly, they, they 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 took inspiration from the ship in the bottle with the sand and all that kind of stuff. Um, we have to start. We have to have a just a, a strategy, a strategizing session. And one of these episodes is just going to be us making pitching pitching an out idea. like the the yeah pitching an idea without even building anything. Just based on the best elements of everything that has become a set. Yep, I think we could. We could. It's, I it's think designed it's, by it's, committee <laughs> on on an ideas project. If we wanted, if the goal was to have it produced harder, if the goal was to get ten thousand votes, easy, we could certainly figure out that we we could break, we can crack that code. I think with no problem. You do Die Hard. You do Nakatomi Plaza. Something like that. Ten thousand votes instantly. Um, so yeah, <laughs> especially around Christmas. Like you, if we were to put this out like through a, a Nakatomi Plaza one like four months ago, we would have gotten ten thousand with no I'm question. I'm surprised we haven't heard of some prolific builder just cranking out anything and everything and getting a ten thousand in every review. It's you, like, do you think people like, have tried and and like Lego has like throttled them? Because there was that one time again, Robin Ann had like four in one. In one time frame, like in in one um, in one quarter, he had like four they, sets. Those could have all been just things that they had built, and then ideas became an option, so and they, they put them all up all. at once. Yeah, they're like here. Well, here's here's more. I got more. Here's more. Could very well be it. And again, his his fans, his legion of fans, uh, were were up there. Like, yeah, finally we get a chance to get to to have our boy get some recognition. And then when when the old fishing shop got made, man, that must have been like, we did it, guys. Let's do it for the rest of them. And then they all got denied, <laughs> unfortunately. I, I would have loved that series. It would have been cool. Uh, let's see. Adam's Family Mystery Mansion. So this uh, here's another one of your... Uh, the... Why does everybody think they can do mansions? <laughs> here's another nostalgia pop with this one here. Uh, and then the, the Haunted House did well. And then the Monster Fighters um, one did well. Um, so... Let's jump on that one. Um, if this gets made, it's going to be nothing like this. Uh, it'll be much, much, much smaller. Uh, I'd say um, it would be about a third of this size, I think, um, if they were to do it. Um, I wonder if it's popular enough that it would get made. This, uh, this, this, this is what happens when you really don't have any hard rules on ideas. Yeah. I mean, everyone just goes for the nostalgia pop. Um, yeah, but they also go for. N no, there's there's no thinking about what's feasible. Like, oh, what, what would this cost if it was boxed? <laughs> if if it's more than any Lego set they've made before, you're not the one that's going to break the record. <laughs> But yeah, like there's there, there's a lot of pieces here. Just just look at the at the tiling on the roof and all that guys. So there's there's a ton of little details here. This is not gonna get made. Um, I, I guess you have nothing to lose like, by submitting something like this to ideas, but and I guess maybe if, if your goal is to like maybe we'll get an, an Anna's family set someday. This could be like the, the how you how you show them that there is interest in in this property. Um, but again, I think if I could if if it does get made, this this could be one that I would see. They're not going to do an Adams Family like line of 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 them, it's so it's not going to be. It's also free advertising. Like, I don't know how clickable through it is to find out more about the person who designed this. Not I can look at right not right here necessarily, but I don't know if they can have any uh, links out. <clears throat> excuse me, links out from the ideas site to their own stuff, but. You can put your name out there by having something hit ten thousand votes and and get this kind of press, even if it's completely unrealistic. 
Yeah, and 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 certainly, I think this like made it across to all the 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 Adams family boards and the nostalgia boards, and you love you love this show from the seventies board, like like uh, all that stuff. Like, I'm sure that's how it got to the ten thousand. Um, but yeah, I if it's gonna get made, it will it will get made in idea. So so that part is already there, uh, and so that part's good. But it would be about a third of the size, I'd say, if it was going to. And I don't know. This is too many minifigures. I think they they're, they're not going to do um, seven minifigures in an idea set. Although Big Bang had a, a bunch of figures, I suppose. Yeah. If if Thing is just a loose hand, though. Here, a loo- here. A loo- oh man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty creative. <laughs> yeah, because all his pictures are just a hand just dropped there on the ground, but putting it in a box makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a maybe, probably no. And if it does get made, it's gonna be way smaller than this. And like that's no see. bigger than the the biggest Scooby Doo set. Yeah, the GMC Blue Chip 100. Um, very nice designs. Yeah, I, I give them full credit. These these look great. Um, sculpting on this is good. Uh, very reminiscent of the original design of the of the truck. That, itself that's well. an American car. Nope, not going to happen. Yeah, I, do, I, I would say this isn't going to come through here either. Um, you know where they anything? love American cars? Not Europe. <laughs> yeah, I, I, if I think it would be in a, in a creator expert set and uh, through a collaboration with GMC, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. Are they even still in business? Uh, they still are, but uh, I don't think they're in the Lego business. So I'll say that. And then I think last one, yep, last one, Viking Village by Brickhammer, who has, I believe, had other sets go through. Um, I also love this. I think it looks really cool. Um, but I think it's a no on this one as well. Um, I'm going to go with yes. I like yeah. it. And I I think it's uh, I think it's one of those, like, they keep whining about Castle and Pirates. Give them this one. That'll shut them up for a year and a half until it retires. I would love it if they did, because uh, I think it looks really cool. I, how much? How how close to this do you think the actual the actual one would be? I don't know. Unless they make it a big one like the Barracuda Bay and make it large, I think you'll get uh, maybe like two two little buildings in there. I don't think you're gonna get all three of these plus the Widow's Walk or whatever the Widow's what is that called? I don't know the. Widow's Watch. Uh, I don't think all this stuff is going to be in there, and I think that's unfortunate because that's the stuff that I like the most. Actually, is is the variety in the buildings, um, and uh, they could pull it on. Like, I mean, Barracuda Bay exists. This this could exist too. I think that be that Barracuda size, Bay. But... Part part of the reason why that works is because you can make it into a big pirate ship and really have a minimum. There's a minimum size for a pirate ship. This one, I'm trying to think of what. What could be play feature conversion to this one? I imagine the build like so so like um one of the buildings is, doubles as a siege tower. I don't. Know, maybe. I think if you keep the the different buildings modular, like you can you can link them in uh, however you want it. That could be a way to do it. So you can you can kind of rearrange the city however you want, and then the different levels can be added. Um, so like the rooftop can be detached and put on another one and then you get you get the, the, the tall tower. You can you can snap that on instead or something like that, maybe. Snap that ship, man. Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so so talking through it, I, I, I would love it if this was made. Potentially I could see it. Um, I'm still probably leaning towards no, but um, I can see how it would uh, if it does, um, if they decide to kind of really kind of throw some effort behind it. And uh, and and put some additional play features in. I think. I think as as designed, I'm still saying no. But that doesn't say that it's not going to go through some modifications and changes, as what started this whole conversation, I suppose. But that's number twenty-five. That's the last one uh, that's on there. Um, they're still looking through the previous season, uh, or the uh, the previous phase, whatever you want to call that. Did we look at those ones? We did, I believe. I think it was okay. you and I, because there's the, yeah, we, we this, this is the one that we looked at with Kenny. Uh, we looked at these with Kenny. Okay, they all start to blend together when there's thirty things and they're all dumb. 
do. Here's another one. Uh, the the most here's Fall Guys. They also the the most <laughs> recent video game fad um, that, that 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 they made, and that's how you get ten thousand votes real well, fast. As soon, as soon as the next minimum effort game comes out and knocks Among Us out, yeah. then uh, a that project will be doomed, and b there'll be a new project for the new game. Look at this though. So there's another airplane. There's also another Appa. Yep, yep. This is that. That's that uh, again. Um, so no wonder some so much of this sounded familiar uh, in there. Um, and let's see. So you get your your hocus pocus instead of uh, Adam's family. Um, uh, another. Let's see what else. Might, what other similarities are there? Here's Naruto. With the, I guess kind of like your avatar, uh, potentially. Um, here's Portal Two. Which I, which I dig, <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna get made either. Community to go along with, uh, I don't know. They have another one, something, something similar. Yeah, a lot of similarities here between the two, um, between Q2 and then Q3 that we currently are in, which is just interesting. And I, I didn't realize it, but it makes sense why so much of this stuff sounded familiar. <laughs> oh, there, Shit's Creek, which was hugely popular at the time of this because it won all the Emmys. So that's that, that's the other. Just got made. Let's put let's put a set out on ideas. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that'd be an interesting experiment if we can come up with an idea. If, if we can, if we could brainstorm based on all the data, what what to do to get a ten thousand vote idea project, and you know, it doesn't have to be built that well, as long as you're putting it into the the audience base that is just going to vote for it like <laughs> like sensei sensei lee put out this project to all the kids at tiger kicks in north america and very very much all of those things are from warminster <laughs> but um we put that out there, and you know what? There's ten thousand kids in the the rotation of the martial arts uh, dojos in the region, and they all voted for it. Easy peasy. Does it have to ha be anywhere near competent? No. I got ten thousand. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll have to. That'll be an episode where we come up with what's the pitch, and then we will put that idea. Eh? into the right pool of people and we'll see if we can get 10,000 on it just because people like Facebook too much. <laughs> Lego Ideas, the Facebook project. <laughs> All righty. What do you think? Wrap it up? Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. Happy New Year. Um, if you're looking for stuff to check out, check out the Remo Collectors Facebook group. That's where Chris is sometimes, and I am usually. Uh, also, check out RemoCollectors.com, where you can learn about things like the Cool Table Network, which is a conglomeration of many nerd-related podcasts, um, all on various topics. Shows like Enter the Realm, Brick in the Mold, Figure Banging, Stasis Lock, Nerd Rage Radio, Shattercast Uncut, Toy Detox, Fresh Communications, and Verbally Challenged. All the shows, while the episodes might not be family-friendly, they are all part of a friendly family.